Hi, I'm the Fossicker from Fossickers.com, and today I'm down on the beaches of the Pacific Coast here, and I want to show you a little bit of how to ground sluice. And the first thing we're going to do here is clear a spot so we can set up the sluice that you see in the background here. That's a clean gold sluice. And let's see if we can get lucky. So I'm flattening this area out so I can lay the sluice down on the ground. Hence, ground sluicing. <laughs> as you can see, there's a lot of cobble here. So we want to clear that away so to flatten this area out. All right, let's see if our sluice is going to fit. Excellent. OK, now I'm going to take the legs off of my sluice here, and I'm going to stick them in the sand so that my sluice doesn't go floating away with this water. These are the pods that usually you have on your legs of a sluice. But I turned it around to the sharpened end, and that's what I use to hold it in the sand. Now the next step we want to do is make sure we have at least a half inch of water flowing through our sluice. And if you look down on the mat, you can see all these air bubbles. We don't want those because we're working in very tiny gold here off the beach. So we want to take these air bubbles out. I, I just take my fingers and just scrape out those air bubbles. Got my basket here. It's got little adjustable arms that come out. And I'm going to lay that right down here at the head of my sluice. And we're going to use this for classifying our material. You can see all the flow of water is going through here. And this will help classify our material and keep these cobbles out so we can get rid of them. All right, now we got set up. I want to go get some material to run through this. I saw a little bit of black sand up the stream. I'm going to go up and get some of it right now. You see these streaks of magnetite, black sand here? This is what we want to process. I'm going to dig this stuff up right now and put it in my five gallon bucket. OK, that should be enough to start with. I don't want to get this too heavy because I got to carry it. Oh boy, this is heavy. When you got wet sand, you better have a little bit of muscle. OK. Whew. That was a bit of work. <laughs> All right. The next step we got to do, because this is a magnetic system, is I want to charge up the clean gold part with some magnetite so that we can catch gold if we're lucky enough to get it here. The clean gold system is made from a magnetic matting that has multiple fine magnetic lines that run north and south through it. When magnetic material like for instance magnetite is placed upon this matting it creates a structure made from magnetic particles that when viewed looks much like corduroy cloth you see on pants. The difference though is that it isn't solid since it is made up of thousands of magnetic particles. Because this structure is porous, when heavy particles such as gold or platinum drop onto the matting of magnetite, it works through the spaces between the particles and conceals itself on the floor of the matting. This is a plus since your values are now well protected underneath a sheath of magnetite. One of the best parts of this magnetic system is that once the matting collects the magnetite it needs to run, it rejects all other magnetic materials which makes it completely possible to run any type of magnetic materials forever without any collective clogging. This is the only system that can do this. Okay, been at this for a couple hours. I'm puffing. I think we're going to check it out and see if uh, we got lucky here. I got my cleanup tray here, and now we're going to remove all the material. This is how I get it out of the matting. I tilt it forward a bit, and I just put a lot of pressure on it.
Now we'll scrape the magnetite off our clean gold here. Okay, that should be good enough. We'll take this now, take it up on the hill here, and I'm going to break it down even more. This is called the Prospector. This is like having a gold pan in the clean gold world. And we'll see if we got lucky. As you can see, we've got some pretty fine gold here. I'd say looking at the, this, it's about 150 uh, mesh. This is micron gold. Most of the gold in the world is micron gold. Roughly about 2% of the gold on the planet is in any kind of a nugget form. In fact, a lot of the gold we get is actually invisible. This system here, the clean gold system, is more than capable of taking this micron gold and invisible gold and making it so that you can actually capture it and keep it. And like I said, this is about 150 mesh. Uh, but the clean gold system works for quarter inch down material. So let's say you're in a river or in other areas where you have bigger gold, uh, you're more than capable of taking it. Here on the beach, uh, you can expect to get between 100 to 200 mesh and invisible gold. If you want to see more of the models that I handle, you can go to fossickers.com. I have from a six inch cleanup trough to a 24 inch high banker. If you are doing gold, let's say in Nome, this is probably the only system that'll work under total black sand. You cannot clog this system. That's the miracle of what clean gold can do. If you want more information about this system and how it works, do contact me at my website, which is fossickers.com, and you should see the telephone number here on this video. And good luck and lots of gold to you.